In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw your boxes um, using two-point perspective instead of one point this time. Um, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make them look like they're overlapping. So when you draw your city, it will look like buildings are overlapping each other. So just like with one point, you start out with your horizon line. And I'm going to draw dark so you can see it, but remember you want to draw lightly, um, just like always. So your horizon line, and now instead of having one point in the middle, you're going to have two points, and you want them towards the edge of your paper. It doesn't have to be exactly on the edge, just at the end. So those are your two points. Um, any line that you draw from now on, unless it's straight up and down, it's going to connect to one of these two points. So, when you're drawing your buildings or boxes, you want to start with the corner, just like you did in your practice. So that's the corner of my building, and then I'm going to connect it to the vanishing points. And then, so now I have to figure out how big I want my building, and that's up to you. I'm going to make this side short. This side a little bit longer. And I started right in the middle, but you don't need to. Um, so there you have your first one. And I like to go ahead and erase the extra lines that I don't need as I go. That way I um, don't end up with a whole bunch of lines that I don't need and I won't get confused as I'm drawing. So there's my first box. And now to overlap it, I'm going to draw one behind it. So that means I'm going to only draw part of this box. So if it helps you, you can imagine that you're drawing that entire line, just like you did here. And I'm going to connect it. And this time I'm just going to stop when I hit that building. And then so I know that the bottom is right here. So even though I'm not going to draw this, that's where I'm going to line up with the vanishing point. And then so now, I'm going to make this building come out that far. And then I'm going to erase the lines that I don't need. So when you're drawing these, you want to make sure that you're not drawing any um, directly above the horizon, because if you do, if it doesn't cross the horizon line, it's going to look like it's floating, and you don't want that. But you can draw your boxes below the horizon line. I'm going to draw one right here, and again, that's how tall I want my building. I'm going to connect the top and bottom to my vanishing points. And so you see there's a lot of erasing that you're going to be doing. So you do want to draw lightly. OK, 
okay. And now I'm going to make this building kind of small. And so you all, I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm making them all parallel to that very first line. So these are all going to be just completely straight up and down. And then so now I need to connect these corners that I just made with the vanishing points because I'm going to see the top of this building. Just a little bit of it. Right, and so now I need to erase these lines because I don't want it to be see-through. And once you get the hang of this, you won't necessarily have to keep drawing all of the lines all the way to the vanishing point. Um, once you get the hang of it, you can stop where you know your building is going to stop. I'll show you that. Alright, so I'm going to draw another one on this side. I'm going to make it behind this one. I'm going to make it behind this one. I'm going to make it taller. Okay, and again, imagine that it's coming down all the way. But I'm not going to draw that. And I know I want this building to be short and tall. So I'm just going to stop right there. So I still lined it up with my vanishing point but I'm not going to draw it all the way across. So if this is too hard for you, you can um, you know, always just connect it and then erase any of your lines. So I'm going to make the bottom of this one be right there. And that's up to you. Again, line it up. And I'm going to stop and erase. So you can see that now that they're starting to, they're, they're starting to look like they are overlapping each other, like this one is in front of that one, this one is in front of all of them. Um, and you just keep, keep drawing, keep practicing, um, connecting to the vanishing points. Now I'm choosing this point right here, because I'm still imagining that this line of the building is going all the way down but I don't see that part of the building. So again, this is really important. Every line that you draw, unless it's vertical, will connect to one of the vanishing points. Always. All right, so same thing. Uh, if you want to add streets, sidewalks, roads, um, again, you will always line up your line that you're drawing with the vanishing point. So I'm going to draw a street kind of running through here, I think. And again, I'm not just going to draw it straight across. Line it up with your vanishing point. Always. I'm going to make this look like it's turning the corner. Let's go this way.
You're always lining up with your vanishing point. Same thing for windows. Your windows are not going to be drawn just straight across. It's always going to connect to your vanishing point. So if I wanted windows on this side, I'm going to line it up with my vanishing point. And always keep it lined up with that vanishing point. Same thing on the other side. We'll line up with the other vanishing point. Okay, and then to make them windows if I want. Remember any line. It's straight up and down, won't connect to the vanishing points. Alright, and that's how you overlap your boxes.